Hi, I'm Sadie, and this is my mum. Hello. <laughs> um, I've always liked music, and since I was little I've always been to festivals, and my parents have brought me up with music, like Pulp and Radiohead. And I've been singing since I was little as well, uh, playing the guitar for a couple of years now. And I do a lot of covers, and I've just started to write my own my own songs, which is pretty, pretty cool. Burning bridges, shore to shore, I'll break away from something more. I'm not to not to love until it's cheap. Sadie um, couldn't speak that well when she was very young and had to have speech therapy, but um, Ironically enough, she could sing perfectly. She could sing the words perfectly, but she couldn't speak them in a sentence. So that was the first kind of like, you used to go around singing. She was a really <laughs> happy child, and she sang all day, every day to everything. But um, then when you had singing lessons quite young, didn't you? You started about off year with Hannah. Three, when I was about eight. Yeah, eight and she used to love singing then. and. Um, I think when you got your guitar, you just flew, really, didn't you? Because <laughs> yeah. you could accompany yourself, and she's yeah, she's progressed quite a lot since she's learned to play the guitar. Oh, Exmoor Festival! It's amazing, like. Like what I said, every year we go because my parents have a lot of family and a lot of friends since they grew up in Exmoor. Um, and it's amazing that I'm playing this year. Well, some friends of ours this year, they've decided to have their, their wedding their, their wedding, wedding reception in the <laughs> Exmoor Festival because they know that everybody will, will be there and it's a great place to be and it's fun. So we're really looking forward to it. We look forward to it every year, don't we? Mm. And I think... We were looking online the other week, we went to see... Um, ben Howard, a couple of weeks ago, and he sold out Plymouth Pavilions when like, we went to see him. But he was playing at Exmoor Festival not very long ago. 2009, and, I think? Yeah, what a, what a treat, you know? Jump! 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 Everybody jump! 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 People jump! So the Exmoor Festival is a, uh, a multi-art form uh, festival celebrating the local music scene local theatre, as well as international and national acts who we're able to attract. We're now in our 19th year, um, largely focused on Manor Gardens, and it's grown from the roots of being very community-based to being something that's a lot broader, uh, and it's starting to take on a, a regional profile. We have a lot of people who apply to play. Uh, very key to that is trying to remain true to those roots of balancing the community start um, with expanding and finding new ways to engage and reach a greater audience. So this year we're very excited, for instance, to have Bella Hardy, who's a folk award winner, coming, coming down on the Friday 22nd of May. Um, and I guess the kind of the key message is that all the music's free. There aren't many free festivals, week-long programme, and you can come and see as many bands as you want for free. My name is Sarah White. I am the co-founder and co-director of Exeter-based theatre company Four of Swords. Um, we are here in Roll College where we're going to do our adaptation of Jason and the Argonauts. Places that we've normally worked with before have the, the buildings or the spaces have been the set. So this is the first time actually that we've really had to concentrate on dressing a space. So a lot of work has to go into making it, it look pretty, I suppose. Uh, ow, oh, that really... Ah, that just wasn't cricket of you, you know. Where is the king your father? Um, my father is injured, he cannot come himself. If I would ever was to wake and watch the garden of golden fleece. So what are you doing for this? I'm Orpheus. 
And I'm also... Um... You're not that bad. <laughs> hey! Oh! You're going to be here all night. Uh, well, don't do that to me! <laughs> um, and I'm also the serpent's tail, which is very exciting. So that's my job, is uh, being Orpheus and then being stuffed into a serpent's You're more tail. than that. Oh, thank you. Uh, where it will be, roughly, just so we get an idea of how much mobility you'll have on that end. Yep, sorry, Dave. <laughs> The idea, the initial idea, was to try and have the whole dragon in with the audience, but it's proving a little tricky, so we're going to chop them in half so the, the head comes out from one side and the tail comes out from the other. My tail's been cut in half. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel ambivalent at best, but um, it, no, it should be exciting. I don't know what's going on. It's incredibly uncomfortable and uh, it's quite sharp in there, so it's, uh, I hope we're insured. It's tough. It's like, oh, I mean, look at that battle wound. That's nasty, that is. Yeah. No, it's Sarah's trained first aider. So. I'm a first aider. Yeah. It's so, okay, everyone. And you're insured. So my lawyers, mm -hmm. I've taken some pictures of it. We could use this as a... <laughs> so if you've got tetanus. Yeah. What's that? That's, that's what happens if you live. Yeah. Is that when I hit you? That's going to happen. <laughs> Hush, little man. Grown-ups are talking. Oh, really? That's jolly. Not so fast! You think I was born yesterday? Yeah, we're nearing the end of our rehearsal process and there's just always that kind of uh, sense of, oh, I wish we had another week. Um, but it'll all come together eventually by Monday, has to. <laughs> Uh, my name is Mia. I uh, work at Exmouth as an assistant youth support worker and I'm also a member of the Collective. Uh, the Collective is a group of young people who basically do music events and workshops for other young people. For the Exmouth Festival we're doing a couple of different workshops. We're going to be doing a percussion workshop and we're also going to be doing a dance workshop and a singing workshop. So we're going to add it all together at the end and perform a song all together with dancing and singing and the Collective Band as well. Well, I just think it's a huge kind of community event, like it's annual and it's in Manor Gardens, which is like probably the centre of Exmouth, like events wise. And yeah, it's just like a, it's a big event in the calendar and it's kind of really cool that we've been given the opportunity to do it, which is nice and I think they're all really looking forward to it and excited about being a part of it. I'm Darren, I'm the front of house engineer for the event, uh, along with Josh, who will be doing all the Hi. doing all the sound for the for the events. Um, all the bands that turn up, apart from those that bring their own engineer, we usually have a cup of tea. It's outdoors, so outdoors has its challenges uh, with weather. Um, I, I've done this event a couple of times where it's been a bit of a swimming pool out front. But, you know, we worked with it. Everyone, everyone had fun. They brought their wellies, they brought their umbrellas. Uh, but it was a good night. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, we we got to be conscious of people around the park as well, making sure we don't annoy them with what's going on in here, but, mm. you know, it's, it's part of the game. Mostly I'll be checking the car parks, the bins, making sure that there's no health issues, um, and again, any problems that arise with the gazebos. But apart from that, hopefully everything will be fine. Festival, but I feel really British. I'm packed carefully, matching like pairs, short lengths. Oh, and quite an in depth. Uh, um, here's some little ties for you there. Quite an in depth uh, diagram the drawing of where they, where they go. <laughs> yeah? You happy with that? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Exmouth Festival.
we've spent the day today in Exmouth and it's been lovely. Um, had ice creams on the beach. We actually sat and played cards on the beach in our, our sand, well, bare feet actually, and uh, had our cards sticking out of the sand so they didn't blow away, which was fun. Um, and the festival's just been a lovely atmosphere. We arrived quite early, one o'clock this afternoon, to start setting things up, and so we saw it kind of take root from the ground upwards, because it's the first day, I think, today. And it was lovely to see everybody arriving and the kind of excitement in, in the space, I think, as everybody set up. It's been a really pleasant day to be part of that. remember the last time I played at a bandstand. I remember as a teenager playing in Hexham Bandstand when we went to their festival up there in Northumberland. Um, it's a great bandstand as well, it's not kind of your tiny upper little staircase thing, it's a really big space and um, uh, it was quite, we played as the sun was going down, but well, it's obviously I think it had gone, but we were playing as it was getting dark and I could see the audience at the start and by the end of the gig I couldn't see anything at all apart from the stage lights which are under the bandstand coming down, which did a great job, I thought, of lighting everything. You know, I think it was really effective. But all of the moths from the whole of Exmouth, I think, slowly collected inside the bandstand. And in my last song, I was just admiring all these beautiful shapes flying around the lights, which was nice as well. I like that. Have a body like mine! All oh, the fun of the fair! So generally, the, the whole thing has been good. We've had some good reports back from the traders uh, with regards to their uh, sales, which is good because we need them back. Yeah, overall, very, very good, very pleased. And obviously, I'm straight onto the very hard lime and soda. <laughs> Cheers. This might go oh, oh. Open your mind to the sound And let the rhythm of the band take hold oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 And dance Like it's your last chance I pour the DJ to get the bass drum Just dance Let the rhythm take hold of your mind, body and soul And lose control And dance Now you're the only one here Throwing no shape And you've got no fear And dance, 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 dance. Hey! Hello, Exmouth. Yeah, we're the Collective Project. We're a youth-based project working out of the Hive, which is just around the corner of the youth centre. Um, and it, the project's for 14 to 19-year-olds. And all these guys in T-shirts here are just volunteers. They're young people who enjoy doing music and getting involved in their community. And I'd like to introduce Alex, who is your compare for today. And so we're going to have singers, dancers, and some people doing percussion. So, hands up who wants to sing? Who knows Taylor Swift? Who wants to sing? <laughs> Thank you. 
can perfect it because we're doing it at Respect and Mix Festival as yeah. well, so we can make it definitely think about tighter, how we're yeah. going to teach them it. Maybe <laughs> a take faster, them to a small yeah. group, yeah, or something. So, but yeah, it was really good. We really yeah, enjoyed it, it, there so. was definitely there was like a lot more kids than yeah. we thought as well. But it, but it yeah, was nice. They wanted to participate. So, like, well, if there's no dancers, but yeah. there was loads of kids that wanted to do it. So, yeah, it turned it really out really good, well. Yeah. I think that went really, really well. Yeah, we really enjoyed it, and the kids are having a great time. Our young people certainly had a good time. Sun is shining. Well done, Exmouth Festival. Oh, beware, my king of hubris. That is the advice from your high priestess. two shows today and a few little things to finish up before we start but it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be amazing Yay! yes it was nice to have a run through and yeah extremely nervous about tonight when we've got a hundred people coming to watch us over the course of the evening Brilliant. but it'll be good fun Absolutely fantastic show, amazing use of the space, really creative, fantastic to see the space being used again after six years. Great company, fantastic animation, brilliant puppetry, really nice modern retelling of a great classic. We didn't really expect there to be a dancing dragon at the height of it, but I think that went down incredibly well. The music was really good and sort of drove the rhythm of the whole thing. I think it was a really, really exciting afternoon. I mean, for Four of Swords, it was a great success. We sold more tickets for this show than we've ever sold before. Um, for the festival, hopefully, I thought we brought something new and something different, and yeah, and, and it was great to open up Roll and to be part of that. Uh, and hopefully, you know, it'd be great to see that venue, you know, going forward being used as an art center or, or something else. But uh, yes, we were very thrilled to be part of Exxon Festival. I love Exxon Festival. How are you feeling? A bit nervous, but I'm right. Yeah, it's good, yeah. It's good because a few friends of, my, of mine have come. <laughs> no, it's coming out now. But no, it's going to be good. Ladies and gentlemen, it is her very first time here at the festival. She's a young singer songwriter from Exeter, playing a mixture of her own music and covers, and it's her first time here at the Exmouth Festival. So please welcome onto the stage the lovely, the talented Sadie Haller. Come on! And the memories fade And the crowds don't remember my name is Sadie When my hands don't play the strings the same way mm -hmm. I know you used to love me the same Cause honey your soul can never grow old It's evergreen And baby your smile forever in my mind and memory. I think it went really well, yeah. Yeah, it went really well, I thought, yeah. What does Exeter Festival give you? Well, I think it's good because it lets, like, lets you perform in front of a different crowd than what you normally would. And it's just lovely, and it's a lovely atmosphere, and it's just really good. The crowd was excellent. It was really nice to see so many family and friends down here. Everybody must think I'm so rude because I've not talked to anybody yet. I just was zoning in on Sony's performance, but I'll come and say hello in a minute to everyone. Now we've done some calculations, and we've worked out that if everybody that came each day just gave two pounds, think about it, two quid, less than the price of a cup of coffee for their day's entertainment, next year, We'll be fine. That's all it takes. Two quid. Two quid. It's nothing. Please, please, please. Oh, we're on camera. I better get some money over. Yeah. All we're asking for. Are you going to bounce? 
and you get a badge. So thank you very much for your generosity. With the festival surviving largely on the bucket collections which we take, uh, we've done okay I think this year. We'll wait and see. We, we, all the volunteers and stewards and, and the organisers wait with bated breath every year to see how we're doing. Yeah, pretty happy. Very little problem in the garden. So yeah, we've got some quite, quite heavy stewards I think this year. And why did you give to the festival? Because I think it's fantastic. I've been here every year since I've been able to and it's five minutes walk from the beach and it's a really good thing to go to. Thank you so much. We're Flight Brigade, we've had a great time already. Uh, we had something delicious from that food place up there. We, uh, we sampled the local fare, walked around a bit, it's lovely, it's a beautiful place, man. Is this where you all live? You all traveled? It beats South London, I'll tell you that. Thanks for watching. Look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm sorry, but we've got to go home. Open your mind to the sound and let the rhythm of the band take It's your last chance before the DJ begins to play trance. Just dance, let the rhythm take hold of your mind, body, and soul, and lose control and dance. Now you're the only one here, going no shape, so you got no fear and dance, 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 dance.